Well, my last video, I showed how I used a toner to trace basically an outlet for a circuit. Found that there was a switch that nobody knew about. So today I'm gonna show you how to use a toner. I've got a lot of questions on what kind of toner it is, all that good stuff. So we're gonna get started with that. It is a Fluke toner, the one that I used in the video. I do have two toners, I'm gonna show them to you, but this is my go-to toner. Sorry, a little messy. So here's my toner. It's a Pro 3000 probe. I do have another toner, but it actually recently broke. This is my Klein toner. This is the Klein one. I broke this like dial, so now it doesn't click on anymore, but it worked okay. I wasn't a fan though, because I feel like it didn't give off a strong enough signal to pick up on when you were looking for wires in the wall, so. Nothing. Yeah, these wires look really freaking old. So we're gonna trace them. We're gonna turn the volume on this all the way up. Set it to tone, and you want it to be solid instead of alternating. So you press this button here. You're gonna take one and hook it to the hot wire. Doesn't really matter technically which one you hook it to, but I find that it makes the loudest noises when it's done this way. You can hook this up to just the ground because the box is grounded. So you should hear. All right, so once you're hooked up to the prongs, you want to do a zigzag motion up and down and all around your area. I noticed the most noise down under me, which means it was probably somewhere in the basement. I check all my devices just to see if it was fed off of any of them, but I found this junction box. The hot wire was completely disintegrated since it was an old wire and it wasn't even attached anymore. So I reattached and re-spliced everything and there you go. It's not always that easy to trace things. It does take time and practice and a lot of patience. It's very easy to eliminate hours of troubleshooting, trying to figure out where things are going and all that good stuff. So my recommendation would be to go with the Fluke 3000. Definitely is one of the nicer toners. Like I said, I've been using the Clyde one for a while, but the issue with that one is that it broke really easily. And this one I use like religiously and it's still like good.